this adorable cottage is three and a half years old. It's eight feet wide, 20 feet long, has a little pop out also at each end, which makes it a tiny bit longer. Um, the siding is hardy board. The roof is metal. Uh, the stairs come with the house. Very nice set of stairs. Let's see if we go around the side here. You can see the fan for the uh, mini split inside and the propane tank. The only thing that's run by propane is the tankless water heater. Everything else is electric. Okay, let's come on around this way. Here's the other side of the house. There are six windows seven windows all together, four on this side and two on the other side plus the uh, big uh, window in the door which has Venetian blinds. Here's the tankless water heater right here in this little house. There it is. Okay. Uh, moving on around. can't get very far away because there are trees everywhere. <coughs> All right, there we go. There's a couple of outside hooks, one for a ladder, one for a bike. Uh, there's the fuse box. There's the other pop out. You can see so it's really more than 20 feet long. All right, back around to the front. Get out of the sun. All right, okay, there's the front. It's a nice storage tank here, which holds a lot of stuff. So you can see it's holding my cello case right now, so it must be pretty big if I can get my whole cello case in there. All right, and back around to the front steps. Okay, here's the inside of the adorable cottage. Here's the front door. It's got a screen on it right now, so we can let lots of nice breeze in. Uh, it's a magnet in the middle, so the dog loves it because she can get in and out. Here's the Venetian blinds. They're inside the door, so you can open them get a lot of light or shut them for privacy. All right, going on around. We have, this is the Murphy bed right here. I will open it, show you how to open it at the end of the video. All right, here's the living room space right here. Might be room for a small couch, although because of the Murphy bed, if you're gonna use the Murphy bed, everything has to fold up at night. Uh, so you can pull the bed down. I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. Okay, this is a nice closet right here. And this side, I keep all the bedding for the Murphy bed, nice and handy. Okay, so here's the other side of the closet. Holds quite a bit of clothing. All right, up there is the little loft. Got lots of storage up there. Uh, I love this ceiling. It's so beautiful. All the lights are LED lights. They go all the way down the whole length of the tiny house. There's the fan. Nice fan. Um, they're all on dimmer switches, so you can have bright or dim, whatever. There's the television up over the window by the bed. By the way, all of these curtains 
were custom made just for these windows. They're all this pretty starfish pattern. They're lined. Very nice curtains. They come with the house. Since they wouldn't fit any other windows except these. Okay, coming on around here to the kitchen. Um, there's a nice little cabinet up over the induction, no, convection microwave. It cooks and it microwaves. Not at the same time, of course. Uh, works really well. It's a whirlpool. Uh, right underneath of it and vented to the outside is a two burner uh, induction cooktop by True Induction. All right, works really well. Okay, butcher block counter. Let me back up so you can see the whole kitchen counter. There. Whole kitchen counter. It's all butcher block. The backsplash is white subway tile. Uh, at the end there is the barn door that goes that closes off the bathroom should you need to close it off. Down below there's a lot of storage. These are white shaker style cabinets. Lots of storage. Even these under the cooktop right here are full-size drawers because this is just that flat piece right there doesn't go down into the cabinet. Uh, let's see. Oh. This ledge with the pictures on it is an extra wide ledge that the builder put in just for me so I could display some of my artwork. There's even a plug up there should you want to put something electrical up there like Christmas tree lights or something. Uh, let's see. Staying up, we have the... Uh, Mini split. It's a Fujita. Works really well. I've only used the heater a couple of times because this is Florida, but it seems to work really well. All right. Uh, there's the refrigerator and freezer. 10.5 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. Right. Next to it is the, this really nice uh, pull-up desk or table. It, goes, it can go flat, but it takes two hands, or it can pull up. Um, let's see. Another window. I like windows, so there's a lot of windows. Uh, we're back to the front door. All right, and there's the Murphy bed right next to it. All right, I need to turn this off for a minute so I can pull down the attic stairs, the loft stairs. In the roof of the bathroom, there's a little knob. That's how you get to the loft. It's a set of attic stairs. I was uncomfortable climbing a ladder, so the builder put in some attic stairs for me. Because uh, I do go up there even though I sleep in the Murphy bed. But very nice stairs with a handrail so I don't fall and hurt myself. Okay. Alright, here's the attic. Beautiful windows up here. There's the knee wall with the art on the other side. There's the window on the other side. It's got this beautiful gray driftwood flooring up here also. Quite a lot of room. You could have an office or a sitting area or a couple of kids could sleep up here. It's also a beautiful ceiling up here. I love the way they did this ceiling. It makes it tall enough that you could actually sit in a chair at some points up here because of this beautiful thing they did to the ceiling. I don't know what the term for it is. Okay, I'm gonna have to shut this off for a minute and climb down. 
Okay, now we're gonna go into the bathroom. Start over here. This is a very pretty all tile, large shower. There's a nice seat, uh, a grab rail. Uh, it's a real grab rail, even though I use it for a towel rack also. Okay, pebble floor, which I love. So pretty. I like the tile too. It's very pretty. All right. This shower head is magnetic. It just comes right off. You can do your hair or bathe the dog or whatever you need to do. Okay, going on around this way. Next is the um, washer dryer. It's an LG. It washes and it dries and it works really, really well. I didn't think I would like it, but I just love it. And there's quite a bit of storage room up over top of the uh, washing machine. Uh, you know, you could put a lot of shelves in there or stuff. Okay. Going on around the wall, we have the sink. I love this sink. I think it's so pretty. And the butcher box counter underneath the sink. Another shaker cabinet for more storage under the sink. All right, next to the sink, we have a, a regular flush toilet, just like you would have in a regular house. Okay, there it is, with the grab rail next to it. All right, and this is um, the light switch, of course, with the dimmer. And this is a um, moisture detector. You can turn it on yourself if you want, the way I just did, if you feel the shower is too wet but if it detects too much moisture it will cut on by itself it vents right out here right up over the toilet is a nice big vent for that okay so that's the bathroom and in the ceiling of the bathroom is this little knob which goes up into the loft I'm gonna turn off for a minute and pull down the stairs and take you up in the loft. Okay, so I have folded up the living room chairs, got a little table out of the way. I'm gonna take hold of this handle. It's a custom made handle, by the way, a piece of driftwood that I thought would be more art artistic than just a handle. Okay, pull that down. Oh, I have to do this. Yeah, put the feet down, All right? And there's your nice, very nice bed. Uh, this is a great mattress. It's a Serta, it's 10 and a half inch Serta mattress. Very nice. Comes with, now this Murphy bed is not the builder's Murphy bed. I went out and bought this at the Murphy store in Orlando. Uh, it's a very well-built bed. It comes with LED lights built in. See there, so you can read. And in the LED lights is also a USB port on each side. There's a plug right there for computers and things you can plug in. Uh, so then all you do is take down your pillows and your bedspread and everything and plop them on the bed and you're all ready to go to sleep. Let's see if I can back up a little bit. There. It's a very comfortable bed. Well, I think that's about it. You've seen just about everything in my adorable little tiny house. Uh, thank you for watching.